Hi folks, uh, back to oils. Uh, we've got cadmium yellow pale, medium, yellow ochre, lump of white, cad red, ultramarine, burnt sienna. So six colours, no black. A tip about cleaning, cleaning bristle brushes. When I finished painting, I, I, I clean them as I go on a bit of bit of towel, just wipe the oil out and then I wash them in uh, white spirit in a jar and squeeze out most of it, most of the uh, white spirit, clean all the brushes, then I get my small finger, give them a clean through the small finger, that's an oil solvent or grease solvent and then I give them a rinse with uh, dishwasher liquid which leaves them, and they're dry, lovely and soft. If you just leave them in white spirit and don't do anything else, or that clean the oil out, the white spirit will make the, the bristles go brittle. So bristle bristles. And also try to get the paint out of this bit of the brush, otherwise although this one's 20 years old but it's done well okay I've got a bit of um, oil medium it's it's walnut oil or walnut alkyd medium mixed in with a bit of uh, uh, refined linseed oil which I bought some years ago okay I, I do prefer to hold my palette but uh, not to be today I'll see if I can show the, show me my knocking up the colours. So I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint. I, I, I like meadows but I want a sort of a misty meadow. Uh, the phone's going, I'm not in. Uh, so I dip, I dip my brush in some oil, just a bit of white, get a bit of red and blue and just put on some colour. This is only a, a basic laying. I don't try to uh, do a finished portrait before you you've got any uh, colour on, on your painting surface. Just just cover it with paint because you know, or well, I know, that I'm going to change all this. And with a bit of drying oil, drying, I've got some. Drying linseed oil. This is probably my my favourite. I hope that not too overexposed. Uh, drying linseed oil, but it's nearly seven pounds that little bottle. It's a frightful price to pay for these things. I'll put a bit of edge, bit of red in. Plenty of medium. So I sort of eat my medium mediums out. With oil, I cut them with some cheaper oil, like this uh, walnut oil. If you're not bothered about the drying time, this is ideal. Walnut oil from Asda, Sainsbury's supermarket. You could drink that for salad dressings and stuff, but it's also for a cheap medium for painting. Some nice dark in there. I want a dramatic sky, but I want the meadow to be quite diffuse and mysterious if I can do it. And when you, you're going to paint light colours over your landscape, Mix up a dark colour. I'm not using black, so I'm using burnt, burnt sienna and ultramarine. You get a nice rich dark with that. Can add a bit of a uh, bit of red in with that as well. So when you put your your lights on it, they they will be contrasted. 
against the black or the dark. That'd be quite a nice colour in the sky actually. And add some red with that. I'm going to put some light in there so I'm not too bothered about connecting up there. A good idea if you want to get into oil painting is to buy a tube of, of Griffin Alkyd Resin white paint, Italian white. I've just bought another Winston 200ml tube that does seem a bit, a bit light up there. But uh, that was just under £13. It's a frightful price really, but uh, it's very heavy. 200mm tube of titanium white. I've got another white I'm using, Artists Oil Colour from Cass Art up at, uh, next to the uh, National Gallery. It's Trafalgar Square. National Portrait Gallery, National Gallery, all there. Right, clean the brush. It's not, it's not going to be one brush painting, but... I'm just running it through the, through the brush. Just to clean some of the dark out. Now we'll go back into the white and a bit of the uh, yellow, plenty of the medium, a bit more colour in that. See now because I've put all this dark on, the light looks even lighter. Just get this coming up into the uh, clouds overhead there. that for a minute and let's go back and put a bit of a bit of darker green on so good green yellow uh, ultramarine blue and a bit of bit of yellow See that's it's a this play light against dark all the time. A bit of red in there. Eh? 
meadow on a hill. Take the trees off of the uh, off stage. Going to see 39 steps this evening. Sutton and Mr. John McCompany. I used to remember that group many years ago. I've still got a lot of friends involved with it. The group, if you're English, British, was uh, the chairman was uh, Windsor Davis, who's a local by Carshalton. Shorten Beaches. I used to drink in my local pub. Never met him. But I did quite a few shows with the, with the group all many, many years ago. But we still occasionally support support them. Uh, what's that looking like? Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Put, some, put a bit more in that. When that dries off a bit, we'll uh, can go over that. Right, so uh, we want some uh, mixed siennas. It's a sort of a tutorial but I'm using quite a bit of oil because that will help it dry much quicker than if you just use the ordinary student qualities. These are all student quality paints I'm using. Okay, I'll put in a bit of a uh, bit of Bit of mauve, a bit of uh, yellow, uh, red, a bit of blue, a bit of white. distance on that. Well this brush, because it's very worn, it does lovely things, like this sort of side stipple. So get some nice green. You want green because you're going to put your wild flowers in, and of course you can't uh, do a meadow scene without a few poppies. to that I think I'd <coughs> could then grow a bit too light so I'm just going to modify it so right there <coughs> just feather touch just get some of those bristles those single bristles just giving an impression of of single blades of grass without actually painting them. It's all about suggestion. Uh, 
Okay, now let's get some good light on that horizon now. It's just catching those clouds coming up over the horizon. Or maybe we've got clouds here which will make a bit of a difference. Let's so put the lights. A little bit of red in there. So these sort of grasses, straw, sticking up on the horizon. I like mucking about like this, it's, uh, it's quite uh, relaxing, therapeutic. We can put some darker bits of uh, thistle. So, a bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of oil, a bit of yellow. Come on, we'll put something in here. Good bit of dark, no, no black today. Okay, that's a nice rough ground there. Cleaning my brush. <coughs> Get some yellow in there. Well, I like it. It's a sort of balance all that uh, watercolour painting I did yesterday and the day before. Now, I'm going, I want to uh, <coughs> put some dark in, in those trees now. A bit of red, a bit of dark yellow. Right, add a little bit of light on that on the outside of those with the that fresh cloud shining through.
No, I'm just uh, blending that a bit. Clean your brush. Be nice just to have one brush to. Uh, And now we're sort of softening all that. Right, I want to go back on that sky. Well, this is a bit of a bland area there, so I can put some dark blue in, a bit of, bit of white. So what happens when you leave stuff, you, your brain seems to be working without you knowing, well my brain is always working without me knowing. But you sort of, your brain sort of subconsciously seems to be thinking about other areas that you keep looking at but are not really paying attention to. Right, now I'm going to put those, those lights back. Get a nice clean brush. A white. Touch of red. Sort of breaking light over a meadow. It comes a time though when you've got so much oil on the paint starts sliding about, about so try to avoid that. Right, I need some warmer colours in that meadow, they're, they're cool rather, so sort of some, let's have some uh, siennas, some burnt sienna. Bit of red I think. A few poppies in.
Right, I just want to bring up some of that, that warm grass. Above that, above the parapet. Okay, but it's sort of pretty. I suppose we need some a bit of focal point. So uh, I'll get a little brush. One oh, little brush. I, I presume this is still an auto. It's also focus. This is also it. Well, I'll put it in a bounce in a minute, uh, in, a, in a frame in a minute, and we'll have a look. Some people going along there. Put a white bonnet on that one. Oh. People in a the meadow. They're not very good specimens, but um, that was not that bit. Oh, pulled the fur off. Stick it back. Okay, well that's uh, seems to be okay. We can put another figure in down further. A straggler. Afternoon stroll on a meadow. Right, let's put that in the, in the frame. I'll move that. Right, bear with me while I just go and put it in a frame and we'll have a, have a little look. I have to, I have to put a couple of uh, pins in. side just so it doesn't drop out okay there we go I've done lots of these before I, I just enjoy doing them right let's uh, come down a bit <coughs>
There's there. I just want that to come up there. There's enough of that frame showing. Oh, maybe a bit more. Okay, well I, I quite like that. It looks brighter on the screen than it, than it does. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm just looking at myself on here. The camera's picking up quite a bit of light, so I just I don't know what it'll turn out like. Anyway, <coughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.